Hi, I'm Lee, and welcome to my channel. <clears throat> my voice is slowly getting better. And this video is titled, <laughs> Will a Narcissist Come Back? <clears throat> well, of course, with every video I speak from experience. <clears throat> and this is something that I saw on one of the many narcissistic forums that I follow. <clears throat> and basically, 99 point nine percent of everything that I see on these forums and website and just everything videos I have witnessed it and I'm like well you know what let me share what happened to me like Biggie I got a story to tell so this person uh, says <clears throat> do narcissists come back if you have blocked them and haven't heard anything from them for years well, I'm going to get the answer here in a second, but, and I'll give you my story as well. Um, in my personal experience, um, I have not went years without speaking to the narcissist, uh, Mr. Michael Caruso. And in fact, I can say his name because do you know how many people on this earth are named Michael Caruso? Heck, Google Michael Caruso in my city where I live. Do you know how many people come up? So, and I mean, what's the big deal, right? He He's a public figure. He thinks he's Tommy Lee. Them's the breaks with being a public figure, honey. So, so this is what this person has to say. Um, narcs will only come back if they see you as useful. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Because um, the longest that the narcissist Michael Caruso went without speaking to me was six months. Okay. Six months. And oh, yeah, for the longest time before I found out about the cheating, he would break up with me more times than I could even count. And I, I, I didn't understand why, why, why. And I'm pleading and pouring my heart out and pouring my heart out. And, oh, honey, he got off on that. But, yeah, um, see, see me as useful. And, really, the only thing that he saw in me was it got his rocks off to be able to just get over on me. Like, straight up, that was flip-flopping it. He definitely did not love me, did not like me, did not respect me nothing so it just it got your rocks off so yeah n narcs will only come back if they see you as useful and it got him off when I would send him novels and novels please come back to me please come back to me then the last few times where I didn't go that route I'm like okay well if you don't want anything to do with me well then okay you you want to move on okay I'll move on and then after six months, eight months, however many months, then, then he comes back. Always, always. Um, a narc will only come back if they see you as useful, a threat, or are out of supply. Absolutely. Because when do you come back? When you're bored and lonely. When do you break up with me? When you're out banging your prostitute girlfriend. When you're out hanging out with the slums of Pinellas Park when you're out when you're messing around with your little girls oh you have no problem breaking up with me but then whenever they're done with you or you have no one else to go to then you come back to me because you're bored and you're lonely I haven't heard from my ex narc in about a year but I know one day they will return Oh, yeah. Yeah. And if they don't return, baby, count your blessings. Count your blessings. Because, like I watched my previous videos, uh, Mr. Michael Caruso tried to say yet again, don't ever speak to me, don't ever speak to me, blah, 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 blah. I, I hate you, I hate you. Uh, okay, okay. We all got money riding on it, all of us. Everybody in my little circle got money riding on it to see when's he going to come back. How's he going to do it? Because always, always, like this last time, left a little comment on my YouTube page. GTFO, dude. GTFO. 
<laughs> it's the nature of the beast that they will return. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, <clears throat> they will stalk and hoover you, waiting until you've moved on, are happier and more successful than they are. They see you as a threat in any way. They will stalk and hoover you, waiting until you've moved on. Well, the only time that he has ever stalked me, and I have done videos on this, was when he told me never speak to him again. I didn't. I was moving on with my life, baby, and I remember it like it was yesterday. Moved on with my life, out living my life without him. It's 8.30 8 at night. I hear, ping, email notification. <clears throat> didn't think anything of it, right? Get a ton of flipping email notifications about BS. So I, I look and I see his name. And I was like, oh, God. So I open, and oh, it's this hate, hate, hate filled. So it must have really bothered him that I was not reaching out to him because he is net. Well, no, he has been very hateful, but it was only when I caught him cheating and caught him out with other women. Okay. I'm doing what you wanted me to. You wanted me to never speak to you again. I wasn't speaking to you. And, uh, Sends me another hate-filled email. I'm giving him radio silence, and it's flipping him out. He is at my house. When I say for weeks at a time, hand to God, weeks at a time, banging, 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 banging on my windows. Now, he can't cut a shine too much because I got neighbors, okay? And if you're banging like you're the police, uh, my neighbors are, are actually going to call the police. You know, you... you you can't uh, be too loud and rowdy in a residential neighborhood, okay? And uh, creating fake, or no, creating like real Instagram accounts, creating Instagram accounts, sending me hate ma mail, just like doing everything. And then when that didn't work, when the stalking, that didn't work, then here comes the Hoover, okay? I'm not giving him any response when he's being uh, a complete flipping psychotic person. Who comes to my house banging on my door and my windows all hours of the day and night? Not a sane person, I'll tell you that. And I even remember I had a little bit of my blinds open. I was in my bedroom. Okay, I heard him banging. I was like, whatever. This is how much of a crazy person he is. Okay, my bedroom window, it's on like, you know, in the neighborhood street. It's not like it's hidden. Like you, like... So he's walking through bushes. I hear it. I hear it. And I'm like, is that maintenance? Is that like the bug guy? Is it like, and I kind of look over and I see him. Okay, there's like this much up on my blinds. My blinds are down. He's all like trying to contort himself, trying to look. It. I was like, oh my God. So I just took the covers and put them over me. I was like, what a flipping crazy person. I, I, I mean, so stalking, yes. Hoover, when that didn't work. Oh, oh, I love you. Oh, I miss you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, please talk to me. Please talk to me. And the mf -er was still lying. Pouring his heart and soul out and still lying. Okay. Oh, yeah. They wait until you've moved on. They wait until you're not contacting them. You have nothing to say to them. You're moving on. You're living your life. And it's almost like when you forget about them. Like Carrie and Big, you know. He would always come back when she was moving on. It's like they have this flipping sixth sense. When they know that you, you're gone without them. Oh, then they want to, uh, because it's all a game to a narcissist. It's all a game. That's it. Um, <laughs> then magically, like waking up to a blizzard outside, they roll in and try to trap you or make your life hell and dangerous once again. Oh, yeah. I mean, a narcissist. You know, it's like I said previously, who's the messiest person that you know? It's not no girl. It's a flipping guy. And it's a narcissist. They just, 
A narcissist always has to get their ego stroked, always has to get their ego fed. I Narcissists feed off of just drama. I mean, drama and BS always trying to say, oh, well, it, it, there's just too much, there's just too much, uh, what's he called, like, turmoil and there's just our, our our relationship is just it's just so volatile and I'm like you're the one who makes it volatile who's out lying and cheating not me uh, I'm not you are you go and you cheat and you lie about it and then you want to get mad at me because I'm not believing the lies that you say to me Ugh, like they're just so gross so will a narcissist come back oh baby He's broken up with me so many times, I can't even keep track. And gotten back together with me more times than I can even flip and count. But we'll see what how we're, we're going to see how long it takes this time. <laughs> I mean, we all got a bet going and I told him, you'll be back. You always come back. So that's either going to go two ways in his psychotic mind. Either he's going to be like, oh, well, now I have to prove to her that I'm never going to come back. Baby, <laughs> yeah, I want to say it doesn't matter how long a time, time passes. And also, when narcissists come back into your life, they want to act like absolutely nothing ever happened. They just want to act like you guys are the best of friends and nothing happened. And it's like, oh, no, 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 honey. No, I definitely do not forgive and forget. I definitely don't forgive when you're telling me you're sorry, but you're still lying to me. No, uh-uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, but again, a narcissist has like an askewed way of thinking because remember it's called, nar called narcissistic personality disorder. So thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this content, please consider subscribing. Thanks guys, see ya.